guys welcome back to my channel i'm darian and let's jump into fragrance talk i recently came into the knowing of this brand theodoros calatinis from what i've seen online it is a greek perfume house and the reason that i was interested in the fragrances was because of the name so i am a gourmand lover i love scents and fragrances that give that foody dessert like smell and when i went to go look at the different options of perfumes that they had on the websites i was like seeing a bunch of stuff that i was loving so i picked out three i picked out the three that i felt like were a little different from what i have already in my perfume collection and also something that i felt like i would wear consistently so i'm gonna go over those three and from my experience, just let you know what I think about these fragrances and how they have worn on me. So the first fragrance I want to talk about is Lemon Tart. I'm going to actually read some of the notes that are listed on their website currently so you can have an idea of what this fragrance is supposed to give. So the notes listed are tart crust, vanilla cream, lemon juice, butter, sugar, and lemon zest. Okay, so let's jump into it. Immediately upon spraying this fragrance, I smell the lemon. And then quickly after smelling the lemon, once the fragrance hits my skin, I smell that nice buttery crust of a dessert. I usually will go to very sweet gourmand, and I still feel like this is a sweet gourmand, but that lemon tart adds a little more freshness. I really love it. I feel like this is one that I will consistently wear more in springtime and summertime. This is a fragrance that I would say literally gives what the name says. The only thing that I want to point out with lemon tart is that immediately when I sprayed lemon tart, it came on so strong, which I absolutely do love. Actually, all of them come out really strong, and I really love that because I love a fragrance that you can, you know, it's going to linger a little bit. You can smell it, but they're not obnoxious. But with lemon tart, I did notice that after a few hours, probably about four hours, the scent was not as strong on my skin. So this is one that I feel like if you're somebody who likes to smell that scent, Every day, all day, you may want to relayer lemon tart. If you're somebody who is okay with your fragrance kind of dying down a little bit on the skin, which I feel like I'm one of those people who I'm okay with it. I'm not somebody who likes to really refresh in throughout the day unless I'm going somewhere else, like a nighttime thing after I spray in the morning. I feel like it wouldn't be a problem. I'm still able to smell the fragrance on my skin and I've had it on for at least six hours. I actually feel like towards the end of me wearing it, I'm able to now smell more of the sugariness in it and the vanilla in it. And from the beginning, I smelled a lot of the lemon and lemony zestness and butteriness to it. I really like how it dried down and I really like how it has softened throughout my wear throughout the day. So let's go ahead and jump into Coffee Addict. Now y'all, I love some coffee. I am a coffee girl right now. So I was like, <laughs> I don't have a very strong coffee fragrance where that is like the main thing. I was like, we're gonna give this a try. I love the smell of freshly brewed coffee. I love when I'm walking around the house and it smells so strong. And I've never actually thought about having a perfume that is mainly the scent of coffee but with me loving the smell just being in the air i feel like this is a really nice gourmand scent to have if you're somebody who likes the smell of coffee for some reason this fragrance is so decadent and it just smells so yummy so i feel like this is something that <laughs> even though it's a coffee scent i would love to wear at nighttime it's just very rich. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you the notes that are on the website. I do want to point out that Coffee Addict is noted as a unisex fragrance on the website. I feel like this layer with certain colognes would smell so good. So I feel like with it being a unisex fragrance, it can have a lot of use. I just feel like it would add some sweetness. So the notes listed online are cocoa, 
vanilla, caramel, and coffee. I literally would describe this fragrance as smelling like a caramel iced coffee. The caramel to me is just not as strong. So that coffee note is very strong in this fragrance, which I like because I have noticed that some fragrances that I do have that do have coffee in them, that coffee note is not as strong. It's just kind of in there with other fragrances that I do have with coffee in them, but I haven't noticed it to be a staple thing that i'm smelling but with coffee addict i smell that coffee so i sprayed them all on me around the same time so i can have a pretty accurate depiction on how these scents wear and again i will say that coffee addict was very strong when i first sprayed it and it has worn down it's been about six hours for me, it is fine what it has dried down to. I do kind of like it to die down, but if I'm like going out somewhere, I'll just reapply or re-up on it. So it's not a problem for me what the scent has dried down to, but it has calmed down a lot from what it was when I originally sprayed it on my skin. I feel like at this point, if I walk past somebody, they will smell that soft scent on me for both the lemon and the coffee addict, but it wouldn't be as striking as when I first sprayed it. But again, I feel like that's normal with a lot of perfumes and I'm okay with that. Towards the end of the day, I do actually like my scent to not be as strong. I feel like when scent sits on you all day and is super, super strong, depending on who you are, that can be nauseating or it can be kind of, it just depends on the scent. Cause some scents you just want to smell every day, all day. And honestly, these scents, I feel like I wouldn't mind smelling every day, all day, but I do love that they do calm down. I understand that not everybody wants that strong scent all the time. So if you are somebody who is like that and sometimes scents can be nauseating, you know, smelling it for too long, this may be a good option. So let's jump into velvet chocolate. Let me start here. I do like some chocolate, but I'm not a huge chocolate person but for some reason the scent of chocolate and just the idea of having a chocolate scented fragrance did kind of intrigue me like i want to see what this is about i don't recall having any chocolate fragrances in my current collection so this is something new for me and i felt like having a chocolate fragrance was gonna be fun and i feel like it's fun <laughs> so what is velvet chocolate giving i'll just jump in and say it's giving rich chocolate cake this fragrance is something different and i really like it i really like the notes that are in it which i will go ahead and read to you from the website so the notes listed on the website are keiko vanilla chocolate and tonka bean and also this is listed as a unisex fragrance so you know how again like i said about the coffee like when you have a fragrance and it's inspired by something like coffee or chocolate but it doesn't always give just that thing i feel like velvet chocolate gives that thing i love how this fragrance and the other fragrances that i picked up I feel like they stay true to what they say they are. Smelling them even now, I still pick up exactly what the name says that it is on the bottle. I really love that I can pinpoint what I'm going to be smelling like with these fragrances because I feel like the fragrances and the fragrance notes are very direct and to the point. So after six hours of wear of all three of these fragrances, I would have to say that I smell velvet chocolate the strongest and then I would go in and say that lemon tart is the next strongest fragrance on me and lastly I would say that I am picking up the coffee addict in strength I really feel like coffee addict and velvet chocolate are good to layer with each other I just feel like together they create such a cozy warm just a good smelling situation I'm very pleased with all these fragrances if you are interested 
in these fragrances i did actually go on the official website of the brand and then on the official website they had listed some perfumers because it is a greek perfume house it is considered international for me to have it shipped to me so they do actually have different perfumers that you can purchase it from so i actually ordered from one of the perfumers that they had listed on their website and shipping got here pretty quickly. I am pleased with my order. I hope that that helped you to kind of figure out these perfumes if you want to look deeper into them or if you're interested in purchasing them i feel like it was a good decision to purchase these fragrances and i'm actually really happy to have these fragrances in my collection and i hope that if you have any questions that they were answered i thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out any of my other videos that interest you bye